The work of rebuilding is underway, and people are flocking to join the effort. With everyone rallying together, I'm sure it won't be long before there's no trace left of the damage done by this war. The healing process, on the other hand, uh, that's a bigger obstacle to overcome. Many are grieving, and there's simply no replacing the ones we lost. As the sun rises once more, and we rediscover the ability to believe in the future, we must never forget their sacrifice. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. Hmm. False sky. I have heard this expression before, but I think this was the first proof of its existence. I think there's a lot of investigating to be done to understand what the fragments behind the sky are and why they were hidden in the first place. However, from what the Adventurer's Guild tells me, neither the split sky phenomenon nor the fragments have ever been observed in any other nation. <sighs> My guess is that the Heavenly Principles wants them kept a secret. I just hope they don't cause me any trouble over it. Oh, you should be fine. We did something much crazier back in Fontaine and we're still here. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Anyway, the line I'm going with for the masses is Astronomical Anomaly. And I don't expect much of a backlash. Meanwhile, we can look into it at our own pace. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. That wasn't their souls we saw, but a snapshot of them in time. All the work of the ancient name engravers 500 years ago, who made some special modifications to their names. Their souls returned to the Night Kingdom long ago, and will have been reborn in that land since, albeit in a different form. For all we know, they may have already lived many new lives by now. And so, even though we will never meet again, they will always be by our side in one way or another. I think that gives another layer of meaning to the phrase, no one fights alone. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. We have a temporary alliance, but I can tell that saving Natlan is not his only goal. Yeah, Paimon still doesn't get why saving Natlan would be so important to him in the first place. Unless he's just a good guy who wants to avoid another Conria. But somehow Paimon doubts it's that simple. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much. Based on all the interactions we've had with him and knowing more about his background, I have a lot of respect for him. I don't think he has any ill intentions. <sighs> now, we should focus on the final battle. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away.